Valorant is a slow-paced game, with long rounds full of walking around the map and meticulously checking corners. So naturally, you have to ask, out of all 21 agents in Valorant, who is the fastest? To answer this question, first we need to set some ground rules. We'll be using C Long and Haven as our racetrack, starting the race as soon as we start running forward, and ending the timer when we hit the wall. We can't use global teleporting abilities like Yoru Gatecrash or Omen Ultimate, and infinite abilities is turned off to make it more realistic. So with all that set in stone, let's get started. Astra, Breach, Cypher, Fade, Gecko, Harbor, KO, Killjoy, Phoenix, Sage, Sky, Sova, and Viper all don't have any way to speed themselves up, so all they can do is run with their knives out. They all tie for 9th place with a time of 8 seconds and 600 milliseconds. Reyna activates her ultimate, and then quickly kills two enemies to drop soul orbs, and uses Dismiss on both orbs for two small speed boosts. I think this could have been faster, especially since she can theoretically dismiss an infinite amount of times. But it's finicky because your speed starts to slow down after a short amount of time in Dismiss, and I only let her use Dismiss twice. Reyna's final time is 8 seconds and 350 milliseconds, making her the worst out of all the agents with movement abilities in 8th place. Chamber sets up a teleport anchor before he starts running, and teleports to it as quickly as possible, and then runs the rest of the distance. I let Chamber set up before the race since his teleport doesn't go very far anyways. He reaches the finish in a bit over 8 seconds, putting him in 7th place. Brimstone throws a stim beacon a short distance away from him, and then runs through it to keep the buff for as long as possible. He ends with a time of 7 seconds and 800 milliseconds, a solid 6th place. Jet only gets one dash, but it covers a lot of distance and it lets you get to the end in 7 seconds and 650 milliseconds for 5th place. There's not much to talk about here, she's more about vertical mobility anyways. Ray sets up a blast pack on the ground, and then uses it to boost her into the air while using another blast pack midair to go even further. My Ray's movement is pretty bad, you could definitely get a faster time with cleaner movement and by incorporating the small jump from shooting her ultimate, but this was the best time I could get. Ray touches the wall with a time of 7 seconds and 650 milliseconds, putting her in 4th place. Omen teleports once to start the race off, and then teleports again halfway through since it's faster than running. His big advantage is having two uses of his ability, compared to Jet or Chamber, who move a similar distance but only get one charge. Omen is the slowest of the top 3 fastest agents with a time of 7 seconds and 200 milliseconds. Yor uses his ultimate, and then waits for it to activate before he starts running. His ult lasts for a whole 12 seconds and lets him sprint much faster, but he still falls to the fastest agent in the game, with a time of about 7 seconds for second place. And to no one's surprise, the fastest agent in Valorant is none other than Neon. Neon activates her high gear ability and starts sprinting forward, and then slides, uses her ultimate to get her slide back, and then she slides again and runs the rest of the way, finishing with an impressive time of 6 seconds and 100 milliseconds, almost a full second faster than the second place contestant. Oh, and one last thing, it's faster to slide than sprint, so in the pre-round you should spam the slide to move as quickly as possible. And with that, the race is done, and Neon is crowned the victor. But, we aren't done here yet. It's time to see, out of every spawnable piece of utility in Valorant, which one is the fastest? We will be using Catwalk on Ascent. Time starts when the ability is used and ends when the pet touches the wall. Unsurprisingly, Sova's Owl Drone is the slowest out of all the spawnables, slowly hovering to the finish with a time of 8 seconds and 250 milliseconds for 6th place. When an ability can't actually reach the end of Catwalk, I take a guess as to how much longer it would have taken and just add that to the final time. Ray's Boombot is pretty slow, lumbering across the track and ending with a time of 5 seconds and 900 milliseconds in 5th place. It can't fully cross the distance, and similarly to Sova Drone, it would have gone further before some recent nerfs. Gecko Wingman moves at around the same speed as Ray's Boombot, but the Roomba has a slight delay before it actually starts moving, with the crowd's favorite ability getting a final time of 5 seconds and 700 milliseconds for 4th place. I also want to note that Wingman has an infinite duration and doesn't despawn unless shot if he's holding the spike to plant, so he could theoretically run the whole distance. Sky's Trailblazer runs down Catwalk, and then leaps forward to touch the wall when it gets close enough. The dog is actually our first piece of utility to run the whole distance, achieving a time of 4 seconds and 100 milliseconds for 3rd place. Gecko's Thrash works similarly to Sky's Tiger, but it moves faster and jumps further, giving the portable KJ ult a time of 3 seconds and 800 milliseconds for 2nd place. And believe it or not, Fade's Prowler is the fastest spawnable in the game with a time of 3 seconds and 250 milliseconds in 1st place. It can't reach the end on its own, 
but if it latches onto a trail, it can go even faster and farther. I was honestly surprised by how fast it is. It doesn't feel that quick when you use it, but it clears a lot of area. Fade's Prowler is the winner, and that's the end of the races for now. I hope this video was insightful. I originally got the idea when I was testing to see if Neon was faster when sliding or sprinting in the pre-round, and it became this. This video was shorter than I would have liked, but Val has only been out for three years, so that's just how it is. Maybe I'll make another one of these in a year or two once more agents have been released, but for now, I'll see you next time.